we are going to be talking about making a guitar. So that is going to be our cost object. We want to find out how much it's going to cost us to make this guitar. So first we're going to break down our costs into two types, direct costs and indirect costs. Direct costs can be traced to my guitar, such as the wood or the strings. Direct labor can be traced to my guitar. These would be the people physically touching the guitar, working on it. If you were in a factory working on the assembly line. Now the opposite and the other costs that we have are indirect costs. These are costs that we're going to assign to our guitar, but they can't be directly traced to the guitar, such as indirect materials like glue or maybe screws or indirect labor, such as the supervisors that are overseeing the entire project or the janitorial services. These are indirect costs. So let's look and see how we accumulate these costs to find out how much it costs us. So here, direct material would be our wood. So let's say that we spent $75 on each guitar, $75 of wood on each guitar. And then the person that was working on the guitar, let's say they logged two hours working on it and we pay them $25 an hour. So that would be $50 of direct labor. Now let's talk about factory overhead. All of these indirect uh, costs go into factory overhead. We can't directly trace it to one guitar, so let me show you how we do it. So for the indirect cost, we may have indirect labor. We, let's say that we actually pay the supervisors $5,000. So indirect labor would be 5,000. And then factory utilities, let's say it's 2,000. Uh, factory property insurance, um, or property taxes, let's do a thousand. Let's say that's what it is. And then the insurance on the factory buildings is 500. And then depreciation on factory equipment is 2000. So these are our indirect costs. That's what we need. These are the costs that we need in order to make our guitars. But we can't directly trace this to one guitar. So this is how we're gonna do it. First, you need to add these together. To get a total cost, so 10,005. But let's just say for now that we have come up with um, 1%. That's the amount we're gonna apply to each guitar. So we're going to do 1% of 10,500. So 105 of indirect costs. Now we would have come up with that percent with some formulas that you'll learn that will be chosen by management that they think is an accurate way to assign some of these costs to this one guitar because we need to know how much this guitar costs us so that we can choose how much we are going to sell it for. So let's get our total cost. The wood is 75, the direct labor is 50, and then the factory overhead, the percent of factory overhead that we're gonna assign to this guitar is 105. Therefore, we can say that this guitar cost us $230 to make. All right, let's talk about some other ways for us to classify. Managers may talk about their costs in terms of prime and conversion. All that means is that direct material and direct labor are prime costs and direct labor and factory overhead or conversion costs. So you may hear managers talk about uh, 
prime costs or conversion costs, and if so, they're just talking about direct material and direct labor, if it's conversion, direct labor and factory overhead. Let me say that again. Direct materials and direct labor if it's prime, and direct labor and factory overhead if it's conversion. So a question that might be on a test would be something like, what is glue? Well, glue is factory overhead, so it's a conversion cost. Or what is wood? Well, wood is a direct material, so it would be a prime cost. Or what is an assembly line worker's wages? Well, that's direct labor, so that would be considered both prime and conversion. All right, we need to talk about one more way to classify our costs, and that is down here, period costs and product costs. Period costs are any costs that you expense in a current period, like the CEO salary or selling and admin expenses. It just goes straight to your income statement and you expense it because it's been used up. Product costs are everything that happened inside the factory and we don't expense them until we sell that guitar. So it happens inside the factory is the product cost. So an example would be direct material, direct labor, factory overhead. Now all of this will eventually get expensed. Period costs get expensed right away, but product costs get expensed when you sell the guitar. So it's held, on, held in inventory until the time you sell the guitar. So that is the way that we will classify expenses in managerial accounting.